This is your dose of daily market wisdom with master trader Nick Santiago. Starting from humble beginnings, Nick has been beating the markets for over two decades. He shares with you his take on the profitable trades that will have you moving towards financial freedom in no time at all. To see an in-depth review of his track record and much more, go to inthemoneystocks.com. Welcome. This is your daily dose of daily market wisdom with master trader Nick Santiago. I'm Kerry Lutz. Today is 12-1-21, which is a really interesting number. It's the same backwards and forwards. And this is show number 345. And maybe that's what the markets are doing. They're going the same backwards and forwards, Nick. They are. They are. We have up and down markets that are now in play. Stocks are rebounding today after yesterday's big, big sell-off. And that was another high volume decline. Mark my words there. You want to remember that high volume decline. So today's the start of the month and often money will flow into the markets at the beginning of the month. And we're seeing that today. So good rebound for the markets today. They're up across the board. We'll see if they can last into the close. Remember, it's always the close that's important. But uh, at the moment, markets are, are hanging in there pretty well. All right. So the ADP job report, uh, that was the big news for today. Yeah, that was the big news earlier, the ADP job report. I think it showed 534,000 new jobs. It was pretty much in line with expectations, so no real shocker there. But we've got to remember, we're in seasonality trends here. So, you know, that number probably falls off once you get into uh, January and February. Um, the non-farm pay non payroll report will be out this Friday by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And again, we'll see uh, what those numbers are and how, more importantly, how the market reacts. Right now, you got to think that the president's approval rating is so bad, it's at an all-time low, I think, for any president. So they're certainly going to want to have a good number this time around. Normally, I don't think they care. Uh, but this time around, I think they're going to want to put up a pretty good number. So it's the market reaction that really matters, not the actual number. We'll see how the market reacts this Friday when that number is released. Yeah, so this is the, this is the week. Well, gold is finally catching a bid after a week of very rocky... Uh, rocky trading yeah gold is up 13 points right now on uh on the futures trading at around 1789 it really has come in very sharply remember uh yesterday uh you had janet yellen and uh fed chairman jay powell both testifying in front of a senate uh banking committee and uh basically jay powell sprung on the market that uh he was going to accelerate the taper even with the Omicron <laughs> variant out there. And that really caused the markets to sell off and, and gold took a, a pretty good uh, pounding yet yesterday as the dollar moved up. So today it seems to be rebounding pretty nicely and um, we'll see where it goes. It needs, a, it needs to really firm up though. It, it, it did take a beating over the last uh, 10 days or so. So we'll, we'll be watching it closely, but good day today. Well, so do you believe him that he's really gonna do this taper? I don't really believe anything they say. I think it's a lot of jawboning. Um, ultimately, though, he's going to have to do something. I mean, you know, the, the country is spiraling right now. Um, so he is going to actually have to do something. Um, I, I think he's probably got the, you know, the, uh, the golden ticket in his back pocket, the trump card, so to speak, and he'll come out and say, hey, if the variant is bad, you know, now we're going to, you know, we're going to lessen the taper. So I guess he could always pull that stunt. But uh, honestly, they're so far beyond behind the curve right now. Rates need to go up. There, there, there's a lot of uh, distortions in the market, and there have been all year long. Uh, the equity market is 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 in a bubble. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of problems, a lot of issues here, and he just got you know renominated by the president. So um, now I think that that's out of the way. Maybe maybe he may do it. Yeah. Well. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, because uh, it could really get out of control. Uh, finally, Bitcoin, what do we got going on with Bitcoin? Yeah, so Bitcoin right now is is looking pretty strong. It's up almost 2%, trading at around 58500 And like we said before, as long as Bitcoin can stay above that 52000 level, um, it can actually chop around and, and, and build some progress and go higher. I don't see any real problem. If you break below 52000 especially on a weekly chart close, there's big problems for Bitcoin, but right now it, it's still okay. I don't see any issues there. All right. Well, I think we'll leave it at that. So make sure you go over to inthemoneystocks.com. See how Nick has beaten the averages for decades. The Twitter feeds at ITMS 
at Nick Santiago 01 and at Carrie Lutz. Emails are welcome, kl at carrylutz.com. Nick, we will talk to you on Friday. Sounds good, Carrie.